Hello everyone and peace of Christ to all of you. Uh, today our topic is about making money and uh, how to make money. Now one of the you know the Muslims he said well if you are really successful then how come not many they are supporting what you do. So today we will discuss <clears throat> how you can increase the support you receive and there is a genius way actually you can do it, but me myself, I'm not doing it, and later you will know why. Uh, so I say to the Muslim who is watching there, leave your comment under the video and tell me what do you think. Do you like the idea? I'm going to give you. There is, you know, there is people they collect donation and they can receive pennies, or they can receive, you know, a lot of money. Now, sometimes even thousands of dollars can be pennies, depending where you live. Because at the end of the day, it's about how much the cost of life in your area is. So if you make uh, $3,000 and you live in uh, Switzerland, I mean, this is horrible. And that will be <clears throat> not, uh, not enough maybe to pay for your rent and your electricity, etc. It depends where you live. Where, where are you? Where are you located? However, there is a very smart way we can make money, a lot of money, if we use the method of the genius Muhammad. So today I'm going to play Muhammad and let us see if the Christians, they will do better after I play Muhammad. So I will play Muhammad, you Christians, you play Muhammad. How I'm going to convince you to give me more donation? We will go and we will check this. You know, there's many verses in the Quran speaking about Muslims, they have to give a donation, right? <clears throat> and actually it's not donation, it's like, <laughs> let us explain first what donation is about. You know, donation is something you give willingly and there are no threat. And I think you agree with me, right? If you if you agree with this point specifically, that donation is something you make and there's no threat, say I agree. So any donation is made by a threat is not a donation. Do the Muslims make donations under a threat or without a threat? You know, some Muslims will say to you, uh, I live in America and I make donation. All right, so what are you talking about? There's no threat. Who is going to kill me in America? You see the threat, is, there's two kinds of a threat. There's a threat of a physical abuse right now can happen to you or violence. And this is what happened during the time of Abu Bakr when he waged the war, the war of apostate for those who refused to pay zakat. And until now, if you live in Islamic countries and you refuse to pay zakat, you will be slaughtered. All right? This is what ISIS did. This is what Al-Qaeda did. This is what Taliban did. And this is what Islamic countries practice. And this is the true Islam. You know that. So this is not only a threat, it is a real violence. You will be slaughtered. In the Quran, in chapter 9, verse number 103, I think, uh, Muhammad, he said, take from their money arms, so you can purify them and make them pure. Hmm. What does that mean? Take from their money arms, so I can purify you. I just convinced you that if you pay me, I'm going to purify you. You know what I mean? So, if you want to, uh, to be purified, uh, you better give me the money, this money in the front of us. Otherwise, you will be in trouble. If we go to chapter 9, verse number 10, uh, I think 103 it is. Yeah. Uh, let us see.
So what the point of you take money from them? For sure, there's many verses Muhammad speak about collecting money. As an example, if you if you want to meet the Prophet in a private consult consultation, you have to give him money. Otherwise, you cannot meet him. Right? This is the verse, as you see in the front of us. Take alms from their wealth, where you know you pur purify them. Okay. How I am going to purify them? I pray for you. Okay, what does that mean? If you pay me money, you will not go to hell. You want to be purified? So a Muslim is not making a donation, even if it's coming, look like willingly he live in America, he make a donation, as he said, not under the Islamic threat in the Islamic government. But that is not really a willingly donation. You are, you are, you are bribing God. You see, in Christianity, if somebody says to you, if you donate to Christian prince, God will purify your sin, that's meaning Christian prince, and whoever said that to you is making fun of you, and you are stupid if you believe it. Giving money, giving money is not what is going to, pu to purify you. And donating to Christian prince, if he pray for you or not, he will not save you. But this is the way of Islam. Now, Muhammad, he wanted to make it clear. What does that mean? You know, pray in their behalf? What do you mean pray in their behalf? How you can pray in the behalf of somebody? You do not need to pray more, no more. You pay me. I pray in your behalf. <laughs> That's it. <laughs> you are hiring a prophet by bribing him to pray in your behalf and then supposedly you will be purified. I mean, this is a very clear scam. This is a very clear scam. In different verse, Muhammad, he said, that in order to meet Muhammad, you have, you know, to give him money. Therefore, you know, you will be purified for uh, your sin. This, my internet is very slow here, so it's not coming. The oh, it says uh, zero. That's weird. Anyway, uh, in order to get to the pocket of somebody, you have to either make him uh, doing it willingly, or you have to scare. the hell of him. And this is exactly what Muhammad did. So, uh, you know, if we go, let us let us go directly as long as this website. I, and I'm trying to open different websites, but as I said, the internet here is horrible. So, if we go... <clears throat> so I'm going to terrify you, and then when you get terrified, you have no choice. You want you, you don't want to be uh, slaughtered or killed or make barbecue. So all who you believe, when you hold conference with the prophet, offer an alms before the conference. <laughs> I mean, it is if you want or who you believe. When you consult with the messenger in private, spend something yeah, yeah, before him, before you know, some, something to who? They will give it to who? To Muhammad. It's like a clinic. You go to make the consultor, the consultant, and you have to pay him. You know, you have. I mean, why Muhammad is making this? Let us say a person, he's a bad person. He's a bad person, and he is coming to the Prophet to ask him, maybe he seek forgiveness. How you convince a person he is bad to pay first in order to to help him? You see, the one who want to see the prophet for consultation supposedly is a sick person. I'm not insulting, no. Like Jesus said, I came to the sick one, right? Which means we are sinners. 
and I am a sinner and I need your help. So you say to me, uh, pay me first so I can talk to you. Well, he's a sinner already. He will not pay. Why he need to pay? I mean, are you there to do charity work? Or you are there to force people to pay money? And what is the point of saying, you know, before you meet me, you have to pay? And if you pay me, as we showed you in the other verse, chapter 9, verse 103, if you pay me, I, I will pray in your behalf and I'm going to purify you. That can be explained here. If any of uh, owner who own gold and silver, you can read it, when he attend in the, in the day of resurrection, uh, when the day of resurrection come, plates of fire would be beaten out of for him. These would then be heat, heated in fire, in the fire of hell, and his side and his forehead in his ass and his uh, penis and his testicles, they would be fried. Let, let us make it simple. So Muhammad is saying to you with the clear words, and look what he said here, look with me. This is why I'm saying this is not a donation. It says, if any owner of gold or silver does not pay what is due, a donation is not a due. Remember, you see, when somebody sends you a bill, this is not a donation. This is due. It says to you, due to pay by the mouth of etc. Which means if you don't pay it, you know, we are going to take it. There is a consequence. You have to pay it. Let us say, you, you are, you know, uh, they will cut your phone, or electricity, or water. So, it is due. It is not a choice. Now, if you don't pay what is due, just for you because you own gold and silver, what will happen to you? Allah will heat plates and he is going to torture you with the plates. Even if you own, and this will go for 50,000 years. <laughs> All right? And each time those plates will be uh, cold, Allah will take them and he is going to heat them up again. Okay? So the process, whenever those cool down, in the process, look like Allah is, uh, he have to block it again in the wall, in the electricity, or he have to put it back in the stove to heat it up. He, he don't have like a continuous source of heat. <laughs> so 50,000 years, unbelievable. I mean, if you are a Muslim and you see this, don't you think you are going to pay immediately? If you believe this will happen to you. Look how smart Muhammad is. Islam is based in terror, not only like terrifying those who don't believe in Islam, terrifying Muslims. The only way to be saved is to pay Muhammad. Otherwise, Allah will put a stick in your ass. You know, we showed you in the Quran where Allah, uh, he, you know, uh, uh, he will insert in your anus, uh, you know, a, a long chain, and, uh, you know, uh, he... Uh, he will insert this chain in your anus and he will take it uh, up uh, from the mouth of the person. Uh, and here there is other way of torture. And this is all just happened just because you did not pay the due, which to Muhammad. A Muslim, he might say to us, oh, this is for a charity. My friend, a charity, charity, should not be a reason to be saved, is it? So are you saying to me, Muslims, I am saved from my sin just because I pay the charity? So I can go and rape the children, I can go and rape women, and then I pay the due, and I'm, I'm fine? Well, yes, Islam believes in that. As an example, Muhammad, he said in different hadith, uh, let us go here. You see, I'm not planning to talk about this, but we have to. The, the, the good deeds in Islam have different methods from any other religions. As an example, uh, whoever one of you recite a hundred, praise be to Allah, 
a thousand good deeds will be written for, written for him, and a thousand of evil deeds will be whipped off. You see it? <laughs> I mean, how stupid that is. And this is Sahih. So immediately, just saying, you know, I'm going to go and rape some children and some women in the street. I will wait until it's dark, and I will target some easy, uh, uh, easy poor women or uh, uh, Aisha at the age of six. And after raping them, I'm going to say, praise be to Allah, praise be to Allah, huh? a hundred times. Just a hundred times. One thousand evil deeds will be whipped away from him. And one thousand good deeds will be given to him. This is why Islam is satanic. Because Islam convinces you that if you, okay, you give money to Muhammad, I'm going to whip thousands of the bad evil. You see, it's, it says, this is the Muslim translation of me. It says, a thousand evil deeds will be whipped from him. Ask yourself a very simple question. Can this be justified? What kind of God he will do that? I will rape a thousand women. And then I say, praise be to Allah 100 times, and then Allah will take all my evil deeds, the thousand evil deeds I did, and he will give me in the top of that another thousand good deeds, which mean I can rape another 1,000 women because the, one, the good deeds will be taken off. It's like a bank account. So now you are minus, you have 1,000 evil deeds. Let us make it simple. So you are minus zero, minus 1,000. Your account is empty, all right? So you say, praise be to Allah 100 times. Then all the bad deeds are deleted, 1,000 crime you made. And then Allah will give you another 1,000 good deeds, which means you can make another 1,000 crime to go back to zero. So each time you make a crime, one deed will go. Each time you make a bad deed, one deed will be taken off from your good deeds. This is what Islam believe in. So Muhammad here is fooling the funny uh, Muhammadan, making them believe that you have to pay me even if you have a do of owning a camel, or even a cow, or even a goat, or anything. As you see here, you know, you can read it. I'm, I'm, I'm going to post the link underneath. So, and all of this is 50,000 years of torture. I mean, why you want to do that to yourself? Just pay Muhammad and you will be fine. I mean, come on. So, uh, uh, the percentage of those, uh, uh, many scholars, they agree about it, uh, that if you have 1,000 piece of gold, you have to pay the Prophet 250 piece of gold. I mean, this is a great business. Imagine if I can convince you, all of you, from each $1,000 you own to give me $250. I mean, that's amazing. That will make me a billionaire. Hmm? Do you know how many people they watch my videos and they love it? $250 for each? Now, a Muslim, he might say this is not true. Let me show you. Here we go. Here they are giving you an example of the percentage you have to pay. So if you have a 1,000 dinar, you know, let us say dollar, you have to pay 250 uh, this is not my calculation. I have nothing to do with it. This is your Islamic website. All right. I have nothing to do with it. So it's a great business. And the Christian prince obviously is not doing good, for he is not scaring the hair of the Christians, saying to them, if you don't pay me, God will make you shish kebab, will fry you. He will send ironing machines. They will touch you everywhere. 
and they will burn your skin for 50,000 years and then when the iron get cold Allah will put the iron in the block again and heat it and he will burn you again until forever this is all because you did not make a donation to Christian lands please be to Allah he is God of justice so my friend if you want to have a 1,000 deeds, good deeds to be added and 1,000 bad deeds, evil deeds to be deleted, say praise be to Allah and give donation to Christian brands. Thank you very much for watching the video. Please leave your comment about the scam of Muhammad who make you believe that paying him money, praising his God, in certain number can whip a thousand crying you do paying him money he will pray in your behalf he will purify you what kind of God does God is what kind of a prophet he is for hire it is a business and this business fit only for the fool are you the fool I guess you are Muhammadans. Thank you very much. Christ is Lord. Islam is false. And thank you for watching. Feel free to download the video and share it. And if you are scared of a Christian prince, you better make a donation immediately. Otherwise, look what Allah will do to you. You better do it. Unbelievable. Thank you.